There was once a very young boy who lived alone with his mother in the farthest northwest coast of Ireland, maybe Donegal. And this young boy loved nothing so much as to wander along the sands after a storm to find out what the ocean had cast up because he used to find treasures washed up on the shore. Well, one morning, after a tremendous great storm, he wandered along the sands, and what did he find washed up on the shore? But of all things, he found a harp in tune. <laughs> so he picked it up, and he put it under his arm, and he continued his wanderings along the sands. But in the course of his rambles, his fingers strayed against the strings and the sound that came out was to him so enchanting. Then he ran right back to his mother to show her what he'd found. And all through that day he plucked on the strings and the sound that came out was marvelous. But he soon found that he could not shape that sound into music. And his day followed day and he plucked on the strings. He got more and more depressed because he found he had a great, deep love of music in his heart. But he hadn't any skill for it in his fingers. And so he slept very little. He ate very poorly. And his mother, who of course was very wise and beautiful and young, understood her son's pain. But she could give him no comfort. And so she went down the way to the druid man under the oak tree and she said, Please, please, either give my son the gift of music, or for the love of God, she said, would you take away from him this desire to play music? And the druid, in proper pre Christian druid fashion, says, um, what will you give me? <laughs> if I do the one thing or the other. She says, I'll give you, I will give you whatever you ask of me. He says, well, give me your soul and I'll give him the gift of music. Give me your body and I'll take away from him this desire to play music. Seems to me like a simple choice. She says, you take my soul for I would have my son a great musician. And so from that day out, the son became the greatest harp player in Ireland. And the mother, when she died, which was not long after, had to give up her soul and go away down to the other world, where they say that at this very day, even now, she sings a song called the Bron Omna, or the Soul Agony. And you know what? The old people say, that during the daytime, this boy could play music of such gladness that he could charm the eagle from the wren, the hawk from the dove, and the fox from the lamb. <laughs>